the Flatliner system is an innovative outer skin repair system. With its extensive accessories, the system allows all outer panels to be repaired quickly, professionally and cost-effectively. The Flatliner consists of a complete workstation with power and compressed air connections and the necessary tools. The Flatliner Body Dent Repair System is suitable for many applications. The carefully matched components allow repairs to be carried out on small and large area body panel damage, on doors, on sills, wings, tailgates, bonnets and side panels, and all from the outside. The system permits fast and professional repairs using original parts and leaving the vehicle structure and corrosion protection intact. Repairing the large side panel on a van is normally a complicated and difficult task. Before starting work, determine the extent of the damage so that you can assess the course of the repair work and select the right tools. After putting on protective clothing, the surface is sanded down so that the pulling eyes can be welded on later. Mask off the edge and mark it precisely. Switch on the digi spot and switch to mode weld ground and weld on the ground connection. Screw the tip for welding the pulling eyes onto the inner puller and weld the turned pulling eyes along the line drawn previously. Even a large number of pulling eyes can be welded on quickly. From both the right and left hand sides, insert a pulling bar through the openings of the pulling eyes. As the long pulling bridge is used for large damaged areas, suckers are applied to hold the retaining straps of the pulling bridge. This allows the pulling bridge to be handled by just one person. Use the retaining straps to position the pulling bridge at the correct height and adjust the supports to fit the shape of the body. Set the hooks to the optimum pulling points and adjust the puller. With the Flatliner system, up to two pullers can be mounted simultaneously on a pulling bridge. Ball bearings on the pullers allow fine adjustment 
of both pulling and straightening. Depending on movement at the damaged area, use either the right or left puller. Check that the body retains its shape even after releasing the pullers. Now carefully reapply tension to the damaged area and relieve the tension with a hammer. Tension in large areas of the panel is relieved using the flat side and the edge is shaped using the wedge-shaped side. Use your hand to feel where further work is required. Mark the remaining deformations with a felt-tip pen. Convert the tool for use as a small impact hammer. This is used for thinner panels. Switch the digi spot to impact hammer mode. And pull the damaged area working from the outside inwards along the spiral drawn previously. Turning the handle releases the welded tip of the tool. Work the other marked areas in the same way. Check the result and eliminate small dents by spotting and pulling. Once the results are satisfactory, release the tension in the pulling system and check the work again in its tension-free condition. Now remove the pulling bridge, withdraw the pulling bars, and twist off the pulling eyes. The pulling eyes can, of course, be reused. The tack welding process leaves virtually no traces or burrs. Now sand down the last uneven areas and then sand the whole surface. Check the result one final time, especially the shape of the edge. Now the ground point can be removed. and the vehicle is ready for the subsequent bodywork.